Hello coders, welcome to Design Your Thought channel. Today we are going to learn about recursion and how we can solve a recursive problem in five steps. Recursion is a technique of a function calling itself repeatedly till the base condition is satisfied. It reduces the length of our code. It is helpful for solving graph traversal and dynamic programming types of problems. Five steps to solve a problem using recursion. Step 1. Find the base case. The base case is a condition which tells the function when to stop. Let's start with a problem example. We are given an input n and we have to calculate the sum of all the integers from 1 to n. We have to solve it using a recursive function. In our example, the so base case is n equals to 1 answer is 1. Step 2. Write some example cases with consecutive inputs, preferably more than 5 examples. So we have to find the output for inputs say 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So for number 1, n equals to 1, the answer is 1. For n equals to 2, the answer is 1 plus 2, that is 3 and so on. And for n equals to 5, the answer is 15. Step 3. Find a pattern between two consecutive answers. So from our previous slide, we can see that we will find the answers for n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And we have to now find patterns within these sample answers. As you can see in the summation of 5, sum of 4 and the 5 if you add it will be 15 and for summation of 4 the output is summation of 3 plus 4 so this way you can understand that there are some patterns we are getting in the sample answers step 4 generalize a pattern in function terms so from the input and output data we have already created we can see here that summation of 5 is equals to summation of 4 plus 5 which is equals to n summation of 4 is equal to summation of 3 plus 4 which is equals to 10 so we can say summation of n minus 1 plus n is our pattern for this problem step 5 write code using recursion with base case so here our pattern is summation of n is equal to n plus summation of n minus 1 and for n equals to 1 the we will return 1 so from the code we can see that we will have a function which is named as sum its return type is an integer and we will take one variable that is integer n so you can see that the first condition is n equals to equals to 1 then return 1 and we can call the same function n plus summation of n minus 1 which is calling the recursion is the same function is calling itself now we can see from the input how the output would work sorry how the code will work so when we are putting 5 as a parameter the it will call as 5 plus summation of 4 so summation of 4 will call the next function that is 4 plus sum of 3 and 3 plus sum of 2 and so on when summation sum of 1 is called then n is equals to equals to 1 this condition is fulfilled so it will return 1 and now all the functions will return to its previous caller and we will get the answer from this animation you can see how the recursion works and it actually simplifies the code and the length of the code is much less and its readability is much better 